How much of your income goes towards taxes? Today we're going to break it down for you by tax brackets. Welcome to another episode of The Money Show. I'm Bailey and I'm here to help you get your money right. Today we're going to talk about income taxes. We're going to break it down by tax brackets for you. When breaking down your income taxes, there are four main taxes to consider. Federal, FICA, state, and local taxes. In order to better understand your income taxes, let's look at these a little closer. Federal income taxes are taxes paid by Americans across the United States. These taxes are used for national programs such as national defense for veterans and foreign affairs, social programs for physical, human, and community development, and also for law enforcement and the interest on our national debt. One thing to keep in mind about this tax is that it's progressive meaning the more money you make, the higher your taxes will be on additional portions of your income. FICA taxes are paid by both employees and employers. They are divided into two parts, which include Social Security taxes and Medicare taxes. In 2020, the Social Security tax rate is 6.2% of wages, and the Medicare tax rate is 1.45% of wages. Together, these make up a total tax rate of 7.65% for FICA taxes. State income taxes, on the other hand, can be progressive, flat, or non-existent. States such as Alaska, Florida, Nevada, South Dakota, Texas, Washington, and Wyoming have no state taxes at all. The flat income tax system applies to a single rate. The nine states that use this method include Colorado, Illinois, Indiana, Kentucky, Massachusetts, Michigan, North Carolina, Pennsylvania, and Utah. Most states, however, use the progressive tax system, where the highest level of income are taxed at greater percentage rates similar to that of the federal income tax system. Lastly, we have local income taxes, which are typically used to fund local programs such as education, parks, and community improvement. Another factor is that tax rates change. Here's how we are filing for 2020. The federal income tax rate on one's income can be best understood by looking at the following chart. This chart is assuming one has a standard deduction of $12,400. The standard deduction is a portion of one's income, not subject to taxes, that can be used to reduce their tax bill. As you can see, the federal income tax rate separates incomes into seven different tax brackets. These income tax brackets are broken up and taxed at different amounts. They include 10%, 12%, 22%, 24%, 32%, 35%, and 37%. As you look at this chart, one of the most important things to take away is the fact that as their income increases, they're taxed at additional amounts based on that portion of their income. One making $50,000 a year in comparison to one making $500,000 a year are both taxed at the same rate for the first portion of their taxable income. As you move to the 12% tax bracket, the person making $50,000 a year is then only taxed based on the income that qualifies for that tax bracket. As you continue to move to the right, each income is taxed at the same rate based on that portion of their income. One common mistake people make is they confuse the marginal tax rate with the effective tax rate. It also clearly displays the marginal tax rate of each income. The marginal tax rate for your income can be found by looking at the portion of your income that is taxed at the highest rate. That tax bracket is your marginal tax rate. The effective tax rate can be looked at as the percentage of taxes one pays on their total gross income. If you look to the right side of this chart, you can see the total taxes one would pay based on their gross income. This is calculated by adding the total taxes paid for each tax bracket that their income qualified for. In order to calculate your effective tax rate, or the percentage of your money that goes to taxes, you will need to divide the total taxes paid by your total gross income. This will result in your net income, which is displayed on the right side of this chart for the income examples provided. So, of course, my tax bracket's in the 37%. Just kidding. I, no. <laughs> I was just kidding, but the main purpose I'm saying is your marginal tax rate and your effective tax rate is very different. Just because you're making 500000 doesn't mean you're going to get taxed that percent on everything else. Although federal tax rates are given the most attention across the United States, as I stated earlier, state, local, and FICA taxes also account for large deductions in our gross income. FICA taxes are fixed and take away roughly 7.65% of our gross income. State taxes, for the most part, are also progressive, but could also be flat and even non-existent for some states. Local taxes tend to have the smallest impact on one's gross income. These taxes can be as low as 0.1% in a state like Alabama or as high as 2.28% in a state like Maryland. 
the other possibilities for local income taxes can be considerably less than 0.1% or non-existent. Thank you for watching The Money Show. I'm glad I could help you understand taxes better today. Make sure you hit that subscribe button to keep watching. And we love to see your feedback, so make sure you comment below. And make sure you stay tuned so I can help you get your money right. Get <laughs> I have a loop in my, oh yeah, I see that. So I was hope, yeah. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.